Hey guys, um, welcome to my first video for DLC. Um, first, I'm going to show you guys how to get DLC. DLC is a medium player that uh, rocks. Um, it is the Google Chrome of video players. Um, if you can do Google Chrome, and especially if you're doing HTML5 tutorials, uh, you'll know. And if, if you watch my HTML5 CSS3 tutorials, you will know uh, because I drill it into your heads that Google Chrome is the most updated browser. It supports um, all kinds of different codecs uh, uh, when it comes to. And again, you probably have to be into uh, HTML and CSS. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but audio formats, uh, video formats, and stuff like that, uh, it, it supports that uh, better than any other browser, as well as supporting code itself. Well, VLC is the same way, only it's for all all kinds of media, uh, which. Uh, uh, when it comes to computers, I really the only kind of media is audio and video, oh, and books. But um, we're gonna go to VideoLand.org, and I wanted to show you guys uh, something about Google real quick. Uh, first, if it's got this uh, barely able to see background behind it, it is an advertisement uh, for something. Um, and uh, also, beware of third-party downloads. FreeDownloads.us.com backslash VLC. Chances are you're going to get a lot of malware and spyware if you download through that website. Uh, same with Downloadster, uh, uh, Soft32. Um, and there's all kinds of different ones that'll. Uh, that basically, they're trying to make money off of you by selling other people's stuff. Uh, and yeah, so it, if you download to there, you got to watch really carefully what it's putting on your computer. I like to go straight to source uh, when I do that. Or when I make downloads, CNET, and uh, I'm not going to say anything about CNET because it's been around for a while, and uh, I, I believe it's okay. But I, I'm sure they do kind of the same thing. Uh, Soft Tonic, I just downloaded some of them from that, and uh, yeah, I had to stop it from putting on about four different softwares, three of which were trials that I would have ended up having to pay for in order to keep using. Uh, and I'm sure at least one of those was a, some type of malware or uh, or spyware. So yeah, just just remember to try to stay clear of third-party downloads. Uh, and go straight to the source. Um, okay, so we're gonna go to uh, the official video land because VLC stands for video land, and I'm gonna find out what the C stands for by going uh, going here. I did type in download, so it's gonna go straight to this. Uh, let's go to the home page real fast. Uh, this real fast, and. As you can see, VLC is a free, open-source, cross-platform, multimedia player and framework that plays most multimedia files as well as DVDs. And when they say most, they literally mean most. Um, you're, if video, if I would say if VLC doesn't play it, nothing else will. <laughs> and that's how much I, I like, you know, that I'm willing, I, yeah. Um, VLC, I don't know what the C stands for. Video Land Codex, maybe. I don't know. Uh, if somebody knows, leave a comment. Uh, because I'm interested in that, I don't see it on their on their homepage like I thought I would. But yeah, uh, and as you can see, we have a lot of free softwares like this that work really well, uh, but that don't charge. You can donate money, and if you have the money to do that, why not? Um, you know, because all you're doing is helping to fund the project. Um, these people work for free, basically. I'm sure they get grants and stuff uh, to be able to work on the project with, you know, uh, but they do. Uh, and Video Land and Inkscape and GIMP and uh, uh, stuff like that, uh, they are, uh, and there's other ones too. Balboca, that's a good speech, speech to text software uh, that's free. Um, th these softwares, they work really hard. Open Office from Apache uh, is, is phenomenal. Uh, it, it's a replacement for Windows Office for those who don't want to pay three hundred dollars for Windows Office. Um, but yeah, uh, these people that work on these softwares, uh, they they do a lot um, for you as far as like you know you don't have to pay for them and stuff. So if you have the money, uh, help them out, download, donate for them, and uh, you know help fund the project. Uh, it'll be good karma if anything. Uh, okay, so we have uh, different projects that they're working on. Uh, we're not going to focus on those right now. Um, we can look at some features that VLC has, and I know I don't normally stay on the website, uh, but again, I really like this um, this program. Um, here's your different input files, and as you can see, there's a lot of them, a lot of them that, that it supports a lot more than a uh, a lot of other players will support. Um, things I've never heard of, like Nut. 
Uh, if I didn't see that there and you asked me what a nut was, I would say that it was something that grew on a tree. Uh, uh, FLV, which is a form of flash, uh, flack, I have heard of. You know, it, it, it supports a whole lot. Aug, um, pretty impressive uh, that it, it does all that. Now, input media, it'll play uh, digital TV. If you have a digital TV hookup in the back of your computer, uh, be it, uh, I don't know, I guess a satellite or cable, because uh, it is cable also, uh, then, you know, this is a good way to play it. Uh, apparently, you can stream right through VLC. Uh, and another thing about VLC is that it is extremely lightweight. Uh, and that's mainly because, and we're going to go to the program now, I think I've wasted too long here, uh, but as you can see, there are certain functions that aren't available. Linux, obviously, uh, most programs like this, Inkscape, GIMP, uh, were created for Linux and branched out to uh, Mac and to Windows, uh, and uh, I've, I'm not sure, uh, I'm sure one of these is uh, Unix or Arc Linux and, and stuff like that, and they're, as you can tell, they, they're not uh, supported nearly as much. Um... And I don't, ITV, I, I'm guessing uh, if one, somebody wants TV on their computer, I guess they can check that out. But yeah, we're going to go to the program real quick. Uh, but yeah, it is extremely lightweight. As you can see, it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, flash to it, which is okay. Uh, but yeah, um, it really doesn't. And I don't know if I have any media files to play, uh, but you've got your open files option. And I'm trying to think, I don't. Let's go. Oh, I'm in my documents. Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't use this computer for much except for uh, work, really. Uh, so I, I believe I I moved something onto it that I I could use for this, and maybe it's in downloads. Nope. Okay, we have some sound. Let's use that. Um, okay, so let's let's play. Uh, I don't know, Columbia. Oh, I actually like this. Yeah, funky. But you see, and it even shows the uh, the album art. But yeah. Um, okay, so that was one file. Okay, so let's open a folder. We'll go back to music. Go to uh, open sample music. Uh oh. Uh, go back to music. Click on sample music and select folder. Okay. Okay. So we played one file before. Um, then and that is an option. But then uh, by opening the folder, we've actually see as you can tell, we it's going to play through everything in that folder. And that's the same for um, uh, video and and audio. And then you have open disk. Uh, this will actually open your disk tray. Um, hopefully, if it doesn't, that just means that it's not really compatible with your particular computer. Um, yeah. Open network stream, and uh, I believe this is where you get your uh, your TV at. Uh, please enter URL network. Uh, and uh, let's see what kind of options they have. Okay, they don't have any options. Uh, okay. Well, let's. let's uh, Type in my channel and see what it does. YouTube.com backslash grubbles 444. And if you Google uh, the uh, definition for grubbles in the uh, Urban Dictionary, you'll be very disgusted. And I wasn't aware of the, of the definition of it. But when I made it, it was just a funny word. And I was creating an email address. And that's what I came up with. And now I'm regretting it. Uh, however, it is funny in that it is extremely embarrassing that I, I end up doing that. Uh, but let's um, input cannot be open. Okay, uh, so maybe if uh, let's go to YouTube real quick, which I'm already on YouTube. Um, I, I was messing with my videos, uh, so let's type in this and I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna see. And uh, this is a stop motion video that I love to show people. Because it, it was really fun to make, and I was I was really happy with it. Uh, so it's on my channel. If you guys check it out, that is the the picture for it. And there's another one of my videos and stuff. Uh, but let's go to um, let's go back to VLC. Let's go to media, 
And let's go open network stream and put this in and hit play. See what it does. Yeah. Okay. So it's really small and oh whoa whoa I just got a lot bigger. And this is a little animation that I've made. But you see what just happened? I just played uh, an online uh, video in VLC. And that's really cool. That's even an option. I don't see that on anything else. Uh, on top of that, apparently, you can open a capture device. So uh, let's try that real quick. Uh, capture mode, direct show. Oh, really? Okay, so you can, uh, oh, and I don't know about the legalities of this, uh, but you can actually capture uh, videos using this device, and that's, I think that's new to this version of it. It might not be. I don't remember how much I played with it last time. Uh, delivery systems, transport mode. Uh, yeah, so that's something you can play with if that's something you're interested in. Um, okay, and I probably shouldn't even show you this, because apparently uh, you can uh, uh, capture DVDs and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of that because I'm not a big fan of pirating. Uh, yeah. And if you're doing that, you know, uh, just, just try to remember that it's not right. I know they probably make a lot of money off that stuff and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but uh, that doesn't give you the right to steal from them. Um, I, I'm sure if you were doing something that uh, you put your heart and soul into, uh, you wouldn't want it stolen just because you made a couple bucks off of it. Okay, so uh, and that's my little speech on pirating. Um, advanced opening options. Uh, this is, I don't know, this is for multiple files, uh, which I believe are like, uh, in older versions, they were like playlists. Yeah, because I don't see the playlist options that used to be here. So I guess that, that is just like, uh, to, oh, quit at the end of the playlist, save, uh oh, what have I done? We're getting pretty close to like 12, 12 or 13 minutes. So I'm going to try to cut this short. Uh, open location from Flipboard, open recent media, and as you can tell, it, it has the, uh, the the stuff that I've tried on here, uh, the sample music and all that. Uh, so that, that that's another cool thing. That, uh, if you're watching something, uh, close your computer, come back to it. It'll still be there for you to uh, watch. Um, let's see, save playlist to file, convert to save, stream. Uh, oh, stream. Uh, let's look at that. Let's go from a network. Um, and this probably won't work because okay um, I don't know too much about that but obviously you know what a streaming is uh, so if you play with that I'm sure you'll figure it out I use Last.fm a lot but I believe I'd have to have the channel that I was listening to's uh, URL put it in there and I'm sure it would work uh, if not uh, maybe uh, you can also try it with Netflix and see if it works that way. But as you can tell, VLC wants to play your videos, it wants to play your audio, uh, so it obviously gives you options to do that. So uh, if you're watching videos and audio on uh, the internet, uh, but you don't want, and, and you do, you, I, I would imagine 100% you would still need the internet uh, connected to watch it on VLC. However, um, it does take back, uh, pull back on your RAM. Uh, to use VLC as opposed to your browser uh, because VLC is that lightweight that it it doesn't cause any problems um, and then you've got your playback options your audio options for uh, different tracks uh, audio channels, audio device, um, mp3 players and such uh, visual, visualizations which I'm not playing any audio and I probably, here let's play some audio real quick Turn the volume down. Okay, so now you guys can hear me. Um, okay, visualizations, uh, spectrometer. See that? Okay, and obviously that is something that is uh, actually a little cooler in a uh, Windows Media Player, uh, but still, um, this is a lot light, light, more lightweight. It's free, uh, and uh, you know it does a lot more than Windows Media Player. So if it, if it's got crappy visualizations, I'll take it. Um, then you got your video playback, full screen, uh, always on top. Uh, which I use this a lot uh, because you can just kind of like put it always on top, minimize it to like to, to a lot smaller, and I, I do this. That's uh, that's why I'm showing you guys. Uh, so I put it like that big, uh, and that way, and it's always going to be on top of my computer no matter what. See, uh, this should be on top because it's I've had I have it selected 
it's what I'm using right now, but it's not because I put always on top. And if you use Ubuntu, you're probably used to this option because it's option for every window, whereas uh, it's uh, it's not in Windows. Um, but yeah, so you put that small, and you can do what work around it, whatever. And the whole time you got a movie playing, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm starting to lose my voice. I've been talking so much. Um, and then you got tools. Uh, wait, let's make sure zoom aspect ratio crop. Uh, I don't know what that is at all. Uh, neither is that. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna stop this because I don't know if it's interfering with audio for my video. Uh, and then tools real quick, uh, effects and filters, uh, media information, codec information, and codec information, I've already showed you that on their website. I'm sure it'll show you the exact same thing. Uh, VLM configurations. Uh, VLM is actually, I believe, uh, Video Land, um, me oh, I, I assumed it was Movie Maker, uh, because they do have that on their website. Uh, I might even go over that in a, <clears throat> in a later tutorial. Uh, um, <clears throat> Sorry guys, uh, my throat is uh, starting to shut down on me. Uh, okay, and then uh, view playlist, and let's see if it'll pull up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this was a playlist of everything, and again, uh, as you can see, uh, that that video I showed you from YouTube on my channel, uh, that is, uh, it it shows it's a World Wide Web. Uh, video whereas uh, this stuff shows it's from my files and uh, this is uh, these are all those sample songs that I showed you uh, okay uh, then we got our we can actually create a playlist using this I believe uh, let's go to my videos uh, and these are all my tutorial videos that I've done so far they're all on my YouTube channel as you can see Inkscape HTML uh, my music uh, and it's not showing the folder for the samples and I don't know why uh, pictures so I can imagine that it's uh, that uh, it'll show the pictures in a playlist, kind of like a, a slideshow, or exactly like a slideshow. And I just closed out of VLC, uh, but there's not a whole lot more to show you in VLC. So this was actually like a one video uh, tutorial, I guess. I'm not going to have to come back to VLC, but I might look at VLC uh, uh, Movie Maker. Uh, because I imagine it's like Windows Movie Maker, but if it stays uh, with VLC standards, it's going to be a lot more lightweight and have a lot more options. Uh, so yeah, uh, we will uh, we'll probably look at that in a later tutorial. But for now, I hope you have fun using VLC and uh, and just you know utilize it uh, for, to its uh, best ability. Another thing before actually I go is uh, you see how you can make playlists and uh, okay, so it. I took that away, but you see, okay, so internet. Um, oh, and I keep, I keep closing out of it. So, open network stream. You can actually make a playlist out of YouTube videos, save it on your computer, and right, and whenever you're connected to the internet. You can watch that playlist of videos on VLC without having to go to YouTube, log in, uh, go to a playlist, go to each uh, video individually. And that's just one of the cool things that you can do with VLC as far as media is concerned. VLC is an awesome media player. Just because it doesn't look all flashy and fancy uh, doesn't mean it isn't. Because it is. Uh, you're not going to find any other video player that is quite as uh uh, usable as VLC. All the other ones are just they're basic. Uh, they have basic options and stuff. Okay, so and I'm going to end this there, but I just want to make make that clear uh, so that you uh, you know all the stuff that VLC can do uh, for you uh, because it really is a great media player. That's why I have it, uh, just like GIMP uh, and everything else. Uh, because when it, when you go free, you still want to go the best option possible. Um, and so, yeah, and that's what I'm trying to show you guys. Uh, so I'm going to end in this video now. And uh, you can subscribe to my channel if you would. Only if you're interested in tutorials on free software. Uh, because that's what I do. Um, I do tutorials on free software to uh, help you guys get what you want out of, uh, you know, out of projects uh, without having to drop the money. Um, and sometimes paid, paid programs are better. Uh, most of the time they are. Uh, but that doesn't mean you can't get the job done using something else, and that's what I'm trying to show you. Uh, so yeah, uh, check out my other tutorials. I've also got HTML, CSS tutorials for anybody interested in websites. 
uh, yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna end this right now. And I hope you, uh, I hope you subscribe. Uh, bye.